Hi everyone, how you doing? This is your boy, Rude Boy. Alright, today is, we have another game program. This is a car game. This is, you're looking at the track here. And this is the car. This is the one I'll be moving back and forth. And then there'll be a car introduced into the array. And it's, there, and it's going to be moving down. Let me show you... Uh, what it is I saw this on the internet and I decided to give it a try myself so here it is the car moving up and down and I'm moving it side to side and my, the car that I'm moving is locked in it cannot crash through the walls or anything that's all in the code and the car is the car that I'm passing is being randomly uh, moved from one side to the next you see that value pick side that is being done through a random number generator and a modulus of two so if it's zero it's one side if it's one is going to appear on the other side all right that number pass because i have to know exactly how many um how many rows that i need before the car completely passes me and uh i need to know this is a crash when there's a crash when there's a collision detected the game ends. I didn't put in any score or anything like that or or to make it speed up make the game speed up after a certain amount of passes or you know changing levels. I didn't do that. That's simple to add. But I wanna just go over the track a little bit. Um when you're programming these console games or probably any game you have to do things to make it appear like um, to get that look and feel that you want for example the track is in the array is way longer than the track than this track the track in the actual when you're playing the game and that was done on purpose so that you it looks like the car is emerging from the top of the screen gradually emerging so I'm actually only when I print the array, the two-dimensional array, I'm only printing from row three. But the car is being introduced in rows one, zero, one, and two. It's off screen, and then, so it looks like it just it's emerging from the screen, right? So this is about manipulating the look and feel of your game. Also, where you put your functions, see I have a, but a bunch of functions here. This will affect the look and feel of your game. So you have to, what I call, synchronize your function so that you get a good look and feel. For example, moving the car, move race car right move race car left i could take this and put it somewhere else in the code and i'll get a different look and feel um also this is the crash detect algorithm right here this detects the crash when a uh, uh, collision is detected this does it here, this is the logic for that and it sets a, a boolean term true or false when there's a collision is detected blah 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 and then we have I remove the O you see you see this uh, the car that I'm moving left and right is just one space up from the last row. It's one row up from the last row. That's because 
it, that's because when I uh, if there's any O's in this row, those O's are gonna get deleted. It, it again, it's to protect your memory so that stuff doesn't run off into other parts of your memory system. So anything any O in this last row gets deleted, gets replaced with a with um. with a, a space and it just adds to the look and feel that the car is going off screen all right and this is the code here my array I have some enumerations in there you know you're just practicing your different uh, different um, using different tools just practicing. I didn't have to use this enumeration, but you know, it's just practicing to use it, and it makes things when you read through the code, it makes things sort of like easy to understand. If you don't know how to do enumerations, go back. There's a lot tons of videos on enumerations. I want to point out something else. Okay, this is the code that moves my car left and right. You see, I have to get this this get character here. This get ch here. If I just use get ch by itself, the game is gonna pause, waiting for me to press something. That's good when you're troubleshooting so that when you're troubleshooting you can step through the game. But I don't want it to do that. I want it to loop continuously waiting for an input, a keyboard input. And this is the function that does that. That function does the keyboard input for you so everything is in a continuous loop everything is looping continuously until you press a, a key on the keyboard this keyboard detect keyboard hit that's what that is KB hit and the body of the, and here are my function def definition because these positions are pretty much discrete to move the race car down these are discrete so I didn't use a loop here I just use the actual positions and since we're moving by row only uh, all the columns would remain the same and I just increment row so when it goes around again it knows what row to start and this row is a global value this pass counts the amount of times the car is incremented down uh, on my code it has to be 15 to completely disappear from the screen all of the car exactly 15 once that 15 is reached um, I change past the zero once I change past the zero then that goes in and sets up a random number see if pass equals zero it goes in selects a random number that number determine what side of the track the car will appear on the car that's dropping down coming down towards my car move race down left side same thing basically and this is removing because it's a discrete I don't have to put a loop to check a nested loop to check each grid position 
since I'm this is it's always this position, I can um, just do it this way. And my car crash detect and there's a collision detect and that's it. Not not terribly difficult. Not terribly difficult. This is basic codes, coding. It's not considered um it's not considered advanced coding in C. This is basic coding in C, just putting it all together to make that work. And that's it. I don't have a score in there. I can keep score every time the car goes by. I know it's 15 position. Once 15 positions are reached, that's one point or whatever. And of course, when it crashes, the game ends. When there's a collision. Okay. So that's my car game. I saw this on the internet. I decided to give it a try. And it really wasn't that difficult. I finished it fairly quickly. In my world that's probably like three days or something because you know after sitting coding for hours or trying to work stuff out and going through the logic of things I just, it wears me out fairly quickly within a couple hours. So it takes me a few days to get something like this done. Alright, and this is my, I'll just bring up my Invader game, Space Invader game here, and this is also random, uh, you can see the bullets dropping here. The bombs dropping and I can fire some bullets and I got hit that's that game the grid this is the keyboard detect function again so that to keep the loop keep it looping it's asynchronous with the system like gets CH is synchronous with the system so I have to it pauses waits for me to press something this is asynchronous it doesn't depend on any input from the keyboard it only detects it all right um, I don't know maybe I have this in another have this in another video but here it is again you can just pause your screen and crop it down as needed okay thank you guys and have fun coding